that's really making this have a life of its own is that big name players who never say boo about other players are destroying them. Clay Bell, uh, Cody Bellinger, the, the National League MVP, destroyed the Astros. Nick Markakis, who's closing in on 3,000 hits, destroyed the Astros. And Aaron Justin Judge Turner. right now, Justin Turner. Aaron Judge now is speaking as we speak, and he is going up and in on the Astros. He's referring to the Jose, Jose Altuve jersey thing as Tattoo Gate. Uh, Jack Curry just tweeted out that Judge said the Astros World Series title, quote, wasn't earned. Said it doesn't have any value because they cheated to get it. Now, Aaron Judge was asked a question that Don and I wanted him to be asked. He was asked about removing his congratulations to Altuve post on social media. Here's Judge on that. Reports that when the Manfred's report came out, you deleted a tweet uh, that congratulating Altuve back in 17. Is that accurate? Did you delete that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And for the obvious reasons that we're talking about here? Yeah, I think I... I took it down like right when I think the story broke out right when I think Mike Fires came out and talked with the athletic and stated that you now this is what go was going on in 17 you know and once I heard that you know I just it's just sick to my stomach you know just to find out you know you got a lot of, I got a, had a lot of respect you know for those guys and you know what they did and you know especially you know what they did for the city of Houston and that whole organization man, a team that was in last place and Drafted right, got the right players in there, and, you know, eventually, you know, got to the World Series. You know, I had a lot of respect for them, you know, the way they played, what they did. And then to find out that, you know, it was, <laughs> it wasn't earned, it was, they cheated. You know, I, that didn't sit well with me, and I just didn't feel like the post, the post that I did really, you know, meant the same anymore. Wow. I, I got to tell you guys and gals something. I, I really do. And please know where I'm coming from here. I'm coming from a career of 35 years in this business, 35 of my 59 years on this earth, probably 37. This doesn't happen. Players don't talk about other players like this. The, the level of intense hatred and enmity toward the Astros is something that I have never seen. You could correct me if I'm wrong. I don't sense anything. I never, ever heard anybody in the NFL excoriate the Patriots over Deflategate or Spygate. Never. Never. I have never heard other, because athletes look at themselves as a fraternity. And the, everybody else is on the outside looking in. They could rip the media. They could get angry at the fans. But they never publicly say this sort of stuff. Now, as a writer and a journalist, I've had players tell me stuff off the record. You know, this guy's a creep, you know. But never have I ever heard any athlete, big-time athlete, like a Bellinger or a judge, go up and in on other players. Their constituency, as I'm hearing now, I'm not sure this is going away unless somehow Manfred finds religion and says, we're taking the championship away. Because he can't punish the players. He gave them immunity. Can't go back on his word. He can take away that championship. I think that would take a lot of the anger away. I really believe that. Uh, I, I think it would help. And then why not reopen re the, invo the investigation in 2019? Yeah, because you didn't promise them any. If, if you could find something out in 2019... Because something, something's rotten in Denmark. But, they didn't just stop but, in 2019. But you also, before you reopen negotiation in 2019, Manfred's got to call Clark and say, listen, you got to allow me some leeway in disciplining the players if we find something. Listen to your own constituents. They're red hot. I think you can win Tony Clark over, and then you can have something where if you're going to investigate 2019 and you truly don't find anything... We can't accuse him of, well, he couldn't do anything anyway. If he and Tony Clark in unison say the players are allowed to be disciplined, then you could feel like you've got a true investigation. Now, Judge was asked specifically about Houston's 2017 title. This is uh, Judge's answer and also has the question in it. I think the Astros should be stripped of their 2017 uh, championship. I, I, yeah, I just don't think it holds any value. With, with, you know, you, you cheated and... You didn't earn it. You know, that's that's how I feel is it wasn't earned. You know, it wasn't earned the the way of, you know, playing the game right and fighting until the end and knowing that, you know, I'm comp we're competing. We're competitors. And the biggest thing about competition is laying it all out in the line and, you know, whoever's the better player, better person, you know, comes out on top. You know, and, you know, you just lay it out there. And, you know, to know that, 
another team had an advantage that you know nothing you can really guard against. That I, I, I just don't feel like that's that's earned or you know yeah that's it's not earned. I got to tell you one. I got to tell you another thing. Everybody keeps saying, well, everybody's everybody's done it. And the Astros just got caught. I, the way these players are talking now, there's no way that everybody's done it. I think people might have pushed the envelope, but no way but, people went and, to this extent. And, and to, to now they're all publicly quoted. If it ever came out that they did something wrong, they look like the biggest hypocrites of all time. And that's why no one went to the union and complained except a, a few rogue guys during PDs because they didn't want to call out their teammates. Right. Their own teammates. What what a what a mess. I mean, for Aaron Judge, I used to always say that Aaron was a lot like Derek, where you know he'll talk and talk and really not give you that much. Aaron Judge is unloading today. I mean, this I is mean, from the heart stuff. And this is like if, if you were to do a comparison, it's probably it would probably be the same thing for Jeter at this point. And that and that shows how significant this is. Right. That even people with that kind of personality have to say it. he's legitimately bothered. Yeah, you get you, you hear that breath that he took you after know, the question? The reporter who asked the question, you know, that's... I think it was Ken Davidoff from The Post. So when Ken Davidoff asked the question of you reportedly deleted that post on Twitter, he was a little bit antsy, like he didn't want to overstep because Judge, Judge is not the most talkative person. And he kind of thought he'd get a one-word answer. Judge is like, oh, let me fully explain when I deleted that post. Right. He was very forthcoming about it. And these are stars, Peter. Yeah, Nick Markakis, Aaron uh, Judge. I mean, these are these are the biggest names in the game. I was generous because, to Markakis, but yeah, Cody Bellinger. I mean, but these Justin are recognizable Turner. people. I mean, I, listen, these are people. These aren't just some some guys that nobody's ever heard of. These no. are significant names. Bellinger is a significant name. Judge is a significant name. You know, it, if it was just Bellinger and Judge, but it's it's that's not enough, Mike. That's that a lot. enough. Judge went on to say, I wasn't a fan of the punishment. I thought that was a little weak for a player-driven scheme that no players involved got any punishments. And he also said he's upset of the lack of remorse he's seen. See, the Astros did themselves in by their arrogant dealings with the media when they had that press conference in spring training a couple of days ago. Jim Crane made his own bed by saying that he didn't think it affected the game, which was, I mean, border, didn't even border, crashed the border of asinine. And hard to accept. Why would you cheat if it didn't help? You only cheat if it helps. I, that's why I always used to laugh at people. Well, PDs don't help. You have to be able to hit a baseball. If they didn't help, why would people endanger their lives by injecting themselves with PDs? Why? And by the way, when we're when we're tallying off the the, the names, we can't leave out Mike Trout. Mike, Tr thank you, Mike Trout, who never says anything negative about anybody and is a great representative of the players. He went up and in. He went up and in. A Manfred has to... Here's what Manfred should do. In order to take the ball out of his court, he has to publicly say, listen, I hear what the players are saying. I want to make the players happy. I put this ball in the court of Tony Clark. If you give me permission to go after the players right now, I will do it. And then all and then of a sudden, it's, all the, it's all the player. You put the ball in the player's court. Now, point. I know that that's hard to do because in the next year or so, they have, to, they have to negotiate a new collective bargaining agreement, and you're essentially forcing the hand of Clark and embarrassing him if he doesn't answer or if he answers in the negative. But then the players then have a new enemy. It can't be Manfred. It has to be their union leader. I'm just now seeing the video of three days ago of the Mets all working out with no shirts. Yes. Very entertaining. I mean, it's just going to keep coming like this? Well, that was... No, no, that was about... That was about Syndergaard. That wasn't about the buzzers. Yeah, but well, what about this? Noah Syndergaard then retweeted the video of it and wrote, some assembly required, buzzers not included. Well, he, he made He's it adding that. on to right. it. Right, but it was, it was definitely It was just mocking him. Syndergaard. It was mocking him because the day before he worked out without a shirt, which is what I always do. Mike